Kelly from The Natural Balance. I'm going to be talking you through a short yoga sequence to help you with tight neck and shoulders. If you've not watched the warm up video, you might want to do that first. But if you're already nice and warm, then let's get cracking with it. So I want you to come to a seated position. So you can either have crossed legs, or if you want, sit on a block if you've got a bit tight hips and you find this an uncomfortable position. But just bring the hands, rest them onto the knees here. And we're going to work through a couple of seated cat cows. So for this, you're going to be bringing the chest forward, lifting it up, and then rounding the back, bringing the chest toward, the chin towards the chest, ex extending through the shoulder blades. So try and inhale as you lift up, and then exhale as you round the back. Taking a couple more of these in your own time. And then bring the body back up and just taking some circular motions here. So pushing into the shoulders as you move around clockwise. And then anti-clockwise. And then bring the body back up into centre. And again, just a couple of shoulder twists here. So looking around to the left. And looking around to the right. Bringing the body back up into centre. Now just bringing the hands out by the side of you. So I want you to push into the palms of your hand. You might feel a, bit, a little bit awkward through the fingertips here. We're just taking some semicircular neck rolls here. Slow rolls round to the side. Not going all the way around. Just half neck rolls here. And then gently bring the head just to one side and apply a small amount of pressure with the hand. And swapping sides. And then gently bring the hands back out together one more time. And you're going to drop the head down and slowly up. Dropping it down and slowly back up. Bringing the arms down now. And we're just going to take the hands behind the back. So coming onto the fingertips, I want you to lift the chest up and bring the shoulder blades towards each other. Take the head up if that's comfortable. And feel a nice stretch through the shoulders and the upper back. Gently bringing the head back down, bring the head to centre. And then just walking the hands out in front of you. So again, coming onto the fingertips here, releasing the head down. Now, don't worry if you can't go that far, if you feel like you've got tight hips as well, just lean forward, we'll do like this. And just take them out as far as is comfortable for you, and then just walk them over to one side and stretch the other arm out so you feel a nice extension through the side body here. And then round to the other way. And bringing the body back up into the middle. I want you to interlace the fingers, push the hands away from me, round the back, chin towards the chest. And then bringing the hands up above your head, extending the arms up as high as you can. And then bring the shoulders back down. Engage the core, don't let the belly push out here. And then we're going to release the hand and come into a cactus arms. So spread the fingers wide, open out the chest, bringing the shoulder blades towards each other. So try not to let the arms drop, try and keep them up. The more you push them open, the more you feel the chest expanding and the shoulder blades working there. And then we're going to bring them forward. And then opening them back up again. And we're going to come into our cow face arms here. So take the right arm up above your head, bending it down, and then take the left arm to join the fingers behind the back. Now, if you can't grab your fingers, that's fine. You can use a strap here or one of the stretchy fit bands just to hold on to. Now, try not to let the head roll down and the shoulders to collapse. Lift the body up, bring the head up. Feel the expansion through the armpits there and all through, also through the shoulders. We're going to release that, swapping sides. 
You're reaching again towards the hands and don't worry if you can't reach it, I can just about reach it on this side. You can always use a strap. And then slowly release the arms. Just give the hands and arms a little wiggle. And then we're gonna come onto our hands and knees here. So take, the, take your bum back down onto your ankles. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Open out the chest. Now some of you might find this quite difficult, especially guys, if you've got big shoulders here, this can be really challenging for you. But I want you, if you can, try and bring the palms together. So don't have the hands just open. You bring the palms together, you really open out the chest here. Take an inhale and then you're gonna exhale, forward fold, bringing the hands over the head. And slowly bring the body back up. Releasing the hands, just rolling the shoulders back. And then coming up onto the knees here, going into our puppy pose. So spreading the knees just so they're hip distance apart, taking the hands out in front of you, and then you're bringing the chin or the forehead to the mat. You should feel a nice stretch through the shoulders. And then slowly bring the body back up, coming into our box position again here. I want you to take the left arm up into the air and open out the shoulder. Look up towards that hand and then bring it through underneath the right arm. And you're bringing the left shoulder down onto the mat, twisting up to the right. Now, if this is too uncomfortable, you're finding it challenging to get down to the mat, you can always just place a block underneath your head or your shoulder to make it a little bit easier to reach down. You should feel a nice uh, twist through the spine here as well as in the shoulders. And then bringing the body back up, spreading the fingers wide, taking the right arm up this time, lifting up, feeling the extension through the right side of the body and bringing the hands underneath the left arm, right shoulder onto the mat. And remember, the more that you push into that bent arm, the, the top arm, the more you'll feel a twist through the shoulders and the back. And then gently bring the body back into our box position here. We're just going to tuck the knees, come down to seat, back into a cross-legged here. Let's bring the spine up nice and tall, resting the hands onto the knees, extend the body up so you feel the crown of heads reaching up towards the ceiling. Taking a couple of big deep breaths here. enjoyed that session if you want to find more videos like that then please head over to my youtube channel if you want to catch up with all the latest updates from me then please follow me on instagram it's the natural balance with an underscore at the end and if you want to find out more about me and what i do then please head to my website at www.thenaturalbalance.net